Now in East Point, police say the men on your screen, you see them right here, may be suspects who killed Knox Panther on Friday. According to police, Knox was outside and he saw the group break into his car and that's when they shot him. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy joins us live from East Point. Jamie, you've been talking to the family and police about this devastating incident. What have they told you? Well, Tracy, the family are just absolutely heartbroken over this tragedy. Police say they are now looking for some particular suspects who were in the area at the time, but the family and the people who live in the area say that crimes like this of people looking into cars and breaking into them happens all too often. He took incredible care of his grandparents, never complained. Uh, always put others first. Family and those close to the painters described Knox Painter, who was shot and killed on Friday night, as a man with a huge heart and caring nature. He had been through cancer when he was four, had lost an eye. He lost his mom to cancer when he was a teenager, and he was always there uh, trying to help take care of his sisters and his brother. Police say they were dispatched to the intersection of Winburn Drive and East Woodland Circle just before 1am to a person shot. Witnesses told them Knox Painter walked outside his home and saw men breaking into his car. That's when police say shots were fired. CBS 46 obtained this surveillance video of men breaking into cars just before that incident. They are currently being sought by by East Point officers. Those who live in the area say criminals are constantly checking cars in the neighborhood. Definitely an aggravation there. I mean that it, his uncle has to take the battery out of his truck to keep it from getting stolen again. Mm. And he lives a couple houses away. Uh, you know, Knox's car has been broken into uh, a few times recently. Uh, his uncle's car truck had been broken into a couple times and stolen once. Those close to painters say an increase in police presence is sorely needed to deter thieves and prevent repeat offenders from returning. And unfortunately, you know, it's at the expense of a 24 year old, the sweetest boy in the, in the world. And now, I mean, now, now everyone has to deal with this. So a truly heartbreaking event for everyone in the neighbourhood and the family. Now, the East Point Council has said that they will hold a public safety event to hear everyone's, uh, what they have to say about crime in the area. But a lot of people say that there's too much talk and not enough action. Live in East Point, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News. Jamie, thank